In this video, we're gonna take a look at stock images and icons in Excel. So this is a new feature in Microsoft 365 that's going to give you access to free stock images and icons. And we're also going to take a look at how you can get these images and icons outside of Excel as separate files. So if we head up to the Insert tab under Pictures, we have this new option here, stock images. And we also have a command here for icons. Now clicking either of those is going to bring you to the same menu. Let's just open up stock images. And that's gonna open up this menu with a lot of stock images that you can search. And they're categorized by different categories up here. And as you can see, we can also take a look at different cutout people. And here's our icons from up in the ribbon tab. And we also have stickers. So let's try adding in a few of these things. And let's just search for someone who's thinking maybe. So let's take this guy who's sitting down and thinking. Let's insert that. And maybe let's go back to the insert tab and let's add in a couple icons because that's what I was using this for. So I needed a cancel icon and a menu icon for a Power BI dashboard that I was working on. And so this is great if you need to use these in Excel but there's actually no option to get these out of Excel that I could find. So here, if we go to size and properties, there's no option to save that as an image outside of Excel. Same with these, but there is a way to get them outside of Excel. So let's just save this file. And if we head over to our file explorer, Excel files are actually zip folders. And if you create a file, you can change the extension. So instead of XLSX, let's just change this to .zip at the end. And let's press enter. And we wanna change that. And then let's extract this. So let's extract it to here and we'll get various folders and files in there. And if we go into the one called Excel, then we have media. And this is where those files are stored. So now we can use those, copy them somewhere else and use them as we wish. So you can see that those icons are saved as both a PNG format and an SVG format. And that means if you're using those in your Excel file and you save the file and send it to someone else who's not on the latest version of Office, they're going to still be able to see those icons. They'll see them as the PNG version instead. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. And we'll see you in the next video.